So about a year ago, I gave my uh, shop truck a little uh, makeover. It was much more uh, tan, tanned from the sun back then. I gave it a, a wash and I gave it oil. This oil, I will uh, put a link below in the comment so you can uh, you can see it. And um, it's been a year. It's okay, but I think I can make it pop even more. So today I'm gonna see if I can explain how I do it with um, this kind of oil and the process of doing it and the before and after shot of it. So I'm thinking uh, you will be pretty able to see the difference between before and after. So um, now I'm gonna do a little time lapse, maybe uh, a little live footage in between, but I it basically just go around and give give the old truck a, a makeover and some new oil and see what happens. And um, I just use a sponge like this, not the rough side, but the soft side and just slowly rub it in. Not a crazy, just a bit of a time, not a crazy amount of layer and you can, you can see the difference pretty quick. But uh, the results is gonna be awesome. So, now with oil, you can see there's more uh, like a clear coat finish on it now. I like it more like this and uh, it preserves the, the real uh, hard attacks of rust uh, better this way. I remember first time I gave it last year, I um, when it was much more uh, less of glossy paint when you had uh, put on the oil you have to use a, a fiber um, yeah claw to um, to kind of even it out uh, because it was so sticky and uh, and that the dry paint was really uh, eating the the oil and it had some kind of stripes on it so um, if you use a fiber claw like this I don't know what it's called then you get a much better result of evening it out. But with, with this uh, layer I gave it right now, there's not those stripes on it, so we, the gloss is pretty good uh, overall. Now I just have to take some air out of it and uh, do the other side. Be careful with oil, uh, old paper towels or whatever you use uh, when using this oil. I'm not saying it's flammable, but um, yeah, don't don't leave it any places where it can catch fire. So put it outside, burn it, but please don't uh, leave some old 
uh, carpet or fiber claws in the in the workshop you're using it and would it be probably be best to do it outside it's not that smelly but uh, i don't think it's uh, without <laughs> without a doubt it's not a uh, it's not healthy for you to go in this so that's it do it yourself there's other ways to do it like i said in my other videos but um, i like it 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 works good and you can um, in time it will fall off or get worn out and um, you will be back to what you had before it's not like you has a, a um, when it, it dries it, it it drives up so you don't have the the greasy feel like you can have with some other products this kind of dries up and leave it like a, a clear coat or something so yeah it's pretty good you can see the rust it's just getting kind of glancy in some way but um, yeah that's it enjoy Thank you.